All right, I got an MTech 1 kit here now. Last customer that I did the MTech 2 kit for brought me this one. Got to go store these inside. He's supposed to bring me some uh, some other bumpers that might be a little better as far as the steel part. Some rust inside here. Got to go put these inside, clean them up, and uh, take them apart and see what we're working with here. So we've got the rear bumper. It's also got that plastic cover on it. The two rocker panel trim pieces. And the front bumper with the uh, valence on it. A couple of these holes, these two are intact mounting holes here. But these on the other piece, actually there's four, and all four of those are good on that one piece. But on this side, the front one and the rear are okay. Uh, this one's torn and partially missing. This one's torn away. And probably just rebond that. I'll have to copy this and add some adhesive here. To remake that part where you can mount it. A little bit of a a twist to this. It needs to be turned some. I'll have to heat that up. And that's where it flexes the paint. It's been painted a couple of times, looks like, or at least at least primed real heavy and painted and cracked all that. This piece is in pretty decent shape. It looks like something dented it there. This is actually plastic, so I can heat that and pull it back out most of the way and finish it off. Uh, not a whole lot other other damage on it. The upper steel part that this sits on top of needs a little bit of repair. In a few places, if the other bumpers don't work out, if you had another set of chrome ones, but I'd rather just paint these and have instead of having to strip chrome if I can help it. But we'll may have to make just one good set out of two. It's a three-piece set. There's there's a center beam here, and then there's two end pieces. So whichever combination of three pieces is in the best shape we'll do that so we got those four and I'm gonna go back in the garage and show you what else I got all right here's the other piece this is a trim piece for a spoiler I've already taken it off it mounts with three bolts and some adhesive tape already took it off the base that it sits on I've got that in the storage room this is the only part that has to be painted on it this will just get mostly sanded down and Maybe some of these low spots I'll have to fill with some chips, but mostly just prime block and paint on that. And he said he's going to bring me a sunroof with those other parts he's going to bring up. And uh, when I get all that stuff, I'll, I'll add that to another video. But I'm, for now, I'm going to go ahead and get started on sanding this out, getting it filled and primed if, if any fillers needed at all, and getting the other parts cleaned up and taken apart where I can assess what I need to do to those and get those repaired and primed too. Okay, a customer came by and dropped off some more parts. I got the other bumpers and stuff still outside, but I'll get those in later and show you. Uh, this has one tiny dent, the sunroof. It's very, very minor. I don't know if you can even see it. There we go. But I don't think my primer is going to fill that, and I'd rather just put some filler on it anyway because I've got to sand. This is a, when it repainted at least once, so I'm going to have to sand through this. I'm just going to go ahead and take down that spot and put some filler. Once I get down to the original finish, I'll just take that spot there to the metal. Other than that, it's really straight. Went ahead and took the seal that's around the outside off. Runs around the perimeter. A little bit of rust, but that rust actually looks like it was coming from maybe the metal core of the seal. I don't think it's really on here. I can still see paint underneath it. We'll see though. There's some along this edge. I might just end up having to run the grinder across this edge just a little bit to take off enough material to get the rust off if it won't sand off. And then I'll run the epoxy. I'll tape off in here and just paint this edge and around with epoxy. Um, for the most part, the outside looks really good. I'll end up priming the whole thing. So fill that one dent, prime this, block it out. It's fairly, fairly flat, but I want to go ahead and block it anyway. Just to get it perfectly flat all right I'm getting started taking all the lenses out of these uh, bumpers and starting to get all the pieces off here I've got the the top one out just got the bottom fog light out there uh, working on this one this ear on the other one was broken off where it's bolted into this piece uh, this right here there's a crack in the trim piece and this piece I've got taped to it, but it comes off this side. It's broken off from there. 
Um, this this piece was okay. Same thing over here. I've just got to get just took that one out. Got to get this one out now and take two screws out of uh, the front bezel just so it will so it'll come out from this slot. It actually rotates in there, and you can use this this up here to adjust the aim. That's what it appears to be is just an adjustment. So I'm gonna get that that front trim ring off of it so it'll come out of the hole easier. Then I got to pry this open just a little bit and slip it out of one of these. And it'll slip out of this one. I'll store all this stuff and uh, then get all the bolts and everything or the nuts out of these metal pieces and get this plastic separate from this. There is some some damage to this. You can see it's, it's not straight across the top. It's a little low in here. And it's also a little low right in here. And there's a buckle in this part of it. Which is not not down there. So I'm going to have to straighten this thing up and then get this back edge pushed out and get this top top of it flat. And then I'll have to put some filler across this top and get it flat again. It's just got some waves in it. Shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to go ahead and get this stripped down and get everything cleaned up. Well, I found seashells in here. I'm not sure exactly what these are, but looks like this thing was underwater for a while. It may explain some of the rust. It was just covered in these underneath. I haven't knocked all of them off yet. But uh, that piece there was just covering all this up. Couldn't see it. I think everything's okay as far as rust goes. That piece is all right all the way across. It's just into into that section there. I'm going to take that section off and uh, scrape all the loose coatings off and see how bad it is. If it's rusted through anywhere, we're going to have to do something about that. But um, might be able to reuse that piece. We'll see. I'll go ahead and get the rest of this rest of this off here. I need to get the sep the plastic separated from the steel here, and then I'll be ready to start cleaning all these parts and getting them fixed. All right, I just got the front bumper detrimmed and completely torn down here. This is the centerpiece right here. This is the top. Not a lot of damage here, but just enough. I'm going to have to go over pretty much the whole thing and straighten up a few places here and there all over. Um, it's been pushed in a little bit right here. It's rounded off. This side's flat. This side over here, you can see. Let me show you the good one. This is almost perfectly rectangular. And there's a little bit of a dent right there. Something had, has hit this front, front area. Uh, this over here... You can see it's it's kind of oblong. It's not completely rectangular on this side. There's a little kink right in here. See where the paint's broken. Focus on this. Maybe not. Anyway, this is this has been out. You can see right here on this edge. All along the edge, it's gonna have. I have to have a little bit of work. The center's almost okay. And over here on the outside, whatever hit this right here, I guess, maybe caused this. It's got a low, big low spot right there. So I'm about to work this pretty good amount. You can see that angle right there is probably more than 90 degrees. Let's straighten that up. It's like the whole end of this thing is just down from this point over, just bent down. So we'll see, let's figure that out. Um, right now I'm gonna go through in here and just tap all this back flat that I can do with just with a hammer and come back and uh, figure out what I'm gonna do here to get this end of it back up and then I may just have to squeeze it together. We'll figure that, that out later, but I'm going to go ahead and do what I can right now with the hammers. Um, this, I think, was the right side. It's pretty clean inside. A lot of the bolts and stuff were rusted together. I had to grind a couple out. Um, I think this is going to be fine, but the left side, though, pretty rusty. What I may end up having to do is take where the four welds are on this bracket and just drill those out so I can keep my 
location there and just realign the holes. I have to pull that piece off. There's no way to blast all the rust out between the pieces there, so I may have to take that bracket off there, blast both pieces, and then weld it back together, and then uh, epoxy the heck out of it. If this gets too thin after after it gets blasted, I may have to come in here and just weld in some reinforcements to keep it uh, keep the strength there, just around that bracket, uh, in places where I can fit it. We'll try to save this. I don't want to go into. He brought me another set of chrome bumpers that are. Uh, backup parts for this, but I don't know that it's going to be bad enough to, need to go into that just yet. Plus, those are pretty rare. He wants to keep those. So I'm just going to do what I can with this, and uh, next will be the rear bumper. Get that broken down. This is the front piece, front valence. Uh, nothing wrong with that, really. It's it's plastic, so there's no rust problems here, but I don't see any torn tabs or... Uh, any splits or anything in it, it just needs to be cleaned up. And then I'll start uh, start working probably right in here, get that back out. That's the main issue here. And then, of course, the bottom, it's all chewed up. But that's not a big deal. I'll be back when I figure out what I'm going to do with this bumper. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the rear and go ahead and get this broken down. I'm trying to get all this stuff that needs to be blasted out first in one batch so I can get that done. Rear section is most of the issue on this one. I think the two end pieces look fairly clean. I don't think there's any reason to do that. I'll probably end up uh, cleaning and, and sanding these inside just to spray some more epoxy or something on it, but I don't think there's a need, really a need to blast it. It's just an extra expense. Now these brackets are uh, pretty much toast. They look bent and they're also rusting to pieces, so these may need to be replaced. I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh get this cover off or get the outer moldings first so I can get this cover off. And uh there's the M Technic decal there. The rest of them I think were look like they were painted over. It's the only one I've seen on these parts. There's some kind of a port over here on this side. I'm going to have to take that out. He wants to get rid of that. Got a hose on it. Need to get these moldings off. <coughs> moldings off here and then looks like that's one solid piece actually on this one. Yeah. Get that piece off and then I can access the, the fasteners for the cover. Alright, got both end pieces off finally. Um, rear bumper brackets are may be salvageable they're still rusty really rusty but i might be able to reuse them if you can't get any more this section in here uh, i was tapping on the outside to see if it was how thin it was and went through it so it's that, that right there might have to be might have to be cut out and replaced what i can do is just cut that section out and uh lay a piece inside here and weld it onto it and that'll recess it about as much as uh, it was before, just so that carriage bolt will sit down underneath the, the cover. We'll get to that later. Um, I'm gonna get this stuff blasted. My cousin is a sandblaster, so he's gonna get all this stuff. He's got a lot more equipment than I do to take care of something this heavy. So this is gonna get dropped off with him. See how thin it gets. I think we can, we can save this stuff. In here is gonna be all right, I believe. There's a ton of scale, but um, even if it thins it out a lot, the outside hadn't made it through the, to the outside yet, except right around the holes. And um, I can lay plates in here and just weld it to the bumper just to stiffen it up. There's nothing back here besides those nuts, so I could even I could even go over it, but I still have to drill a hole in it. So I may just go back here and just put a strip, a plate uh, between every hole, and just weld it to the bumper. This section here is probably going to need to be cut out. For the most part, it's straight. There is one little dent right in here. That's behind the bumper. It'll never even be seen. Or behind the trim. I'll probably tap it out anyway just to get it straight. But for the most part, the piece itself is straight. We just got to take care of all this rust. We'll be back when I get a little more done. All right, all the parts are broken down. 
This is the center part of the rear bumper. Pretty heavy rust. I'm going to get the inner and outer blasted on this one. There's rust all over, especially on the bottom. You can see it's bubbling paint up. So I'm going to get the whole thing blasted. These are the end pieces to the front and rear. This one is uh, from the front, front left, I believe. And there's so much rust inside the bracket there. I'm going to have to cut the bracket off, have it blasted separately. I'll come back and uh, weld it back on. Same thing with this piece. There's only some minor rust around that, but if you look at the holes, there's rust around all the, all the holes. And then I think on this piece, if you can see along this, this ridge here, there's corrosion bubbling the paint up all along that edge. And some on the in inside here where the slots are. So there's corrosion underneath the paint for some reason there. It, it may have been repainted at some point, trapped some rust in it, or it just had some moisture on the surface whenever it was originally painted. It almost looks like original paint on these, but I don't think it is. Uh, I think this piece, well, the outside looks fine on this one. It's the other side for the rear. I'm gonna blast just the inside of this and also cut that, that bracket off there. Most likely, I think I'm gonna do that one. Same way, I got, got three of those to do, so I'll have to cut these three brackets off just so we can get all behind Underneath, that's where the rust is starting between the two pieces, so there's no reason to leave it. It's just going to come back. I've got all the pieces over here. Uh, that's the center of the front bumper that needs to be straightened up and also blasted. Uh, front and rear. These are the two valences. That's the rear, that's the front. Those are cleaned. I just finished washing all the stuff. Rocker panels. Um, got to fix these two holes, like I was saying. Uh, for the most part, they're okay. I'm going to focus on getting the steel parts uh, ready to go to the blaster. Get these three brackets cut off so I can send those off to the blaster. He's going to need several days with those. So I can be working on all the plastic while he's doing that. So I'm going to get those to him. Start on uh, probably these two main valences here. Get those in primer. Set them off to the side and then work on the rockers. But I got to get the steel over to the blaster first so he can be working on that while I'm doing the, the plastic pieces. All right, I've started drilling this bracket off. I had to drill all the way through. I've got four holes in this one. There were little dimples there where it was welded, so I was able to, to just center my bit there. And there was so much paint on this thing, I could barely see. I really couldn't see at all the spot welds on this side. What I want to do is take my spot weld drill and drill through the outside, actually like this. Slide it on there and drill it through the outside so I can have the hole on the outside, which will be easier to weld. I'll have just this tiny eighth inch hole back here, and I'll have a about a six to eight millimeter hole in the front. I can fill that up when I when I weld from the outside. It'll fill this hole in. These other two, you can see the spot welds. There's two there and two there, so I can just run the spot weld drill on that. That'll leave the entire bracket intact on the back with no hole in it and leave the most material I can on it. That's what I wanted to do on that, that short piece right there, but there was no way to, to drill it from the front. I couldn't see where they were. You can see those too on this piece also. So I'll just drill those out from the front, but on this one I had to do it all the way through. I'll just have to mark these pieces. I may end up having to put a couple of holes at least through maybe drill two opposite from each other just to align it and the other two I can drill all the way through without having to do a pilot hole like that because I got to keep them in the same place and since they're going to get blasted I can't mark them and know which one which went to which these should be identical but the whole pattern may be may be different um, what I'll probably do is just tell them to blast you know I'll, I'll tie these together maybe with, with some wire or something and tell them to blast these together and these and then keep them all in little in pairs like that so I won't mix them up. I'm gonna go ahead and drill this out from the from this side with my spot well drill. Get this bracket off here. I need to do those other two there and I think that'll be about it. Alright here it is after I drilled it off. Didn't go all the way through it. 
here's the outside. This is where I ran the drill bit through. And I just barely pried it up and it popped right off. So it's going to work out great, looks like. I just have to put it right back in the same place. It appears that it was this slot in it right here lines up with a hole through the outside. And it's bottomed out. Back edge of this hole lines up with the back edge of the hole back here. So I can just stick a bar up through here and, and realign it. And then get these holes here centered back on the outside. I look at it like this. It'll be blasted, but uh, I'll still have holes there I can center. Like this. I can center the small holes in, inside the large holes. I'll know it's in the right place. So I'll do that to the other ones. I'm going to try not to drill all the way through those. If I can figure out a way to just drill two of them, maybe. That way I'll know which is which. I could drill maybe this two on one piece and uh, the other two on the other piece in case they do get mixed up. I know this slot faces in, inward away from the back edge. So I'll drill those two maybe and then the opposite two on the other piece. So if I get these get mixed up, I'll know that uh, I know they sit. I know they sit this way. So if these two holes are open and uh, marked that way, then I'll know which direction they go, which piece they went to. But uh, it should work, but if not, I'll come up with something else. I'm going to go do the other two now. All right, I got the rear bumper sanded out here where I need to fill these holes in, where that port was. I got to get a different, uh, different adhesive to make that structural repair. What I'll have to do is dish these out and sort of put a little bit of a, a taper on each edge of the hole. And I'll come in from the back. I'll tape the front and leave it kind of domed. And I'll shove it adhesive in from the back. And let it fill through the holes and come through the front. And then I'll just grind all the front down uh, flush again. And then fill over the top of it with some surface filler. The rest of it's pretty good. Just need to strip the paint off after I do the repair. Here's the front one. Got the bottom sanded down all the way through all the scratches. And the ones that are in the plastic, I'll have to put filler in scuff here that kind of flattened it out. I'm going to have to build that up a little bit, curve it back off. Uh, heated this portion up here and flattened it back out. I'll have to put a little bit of filler right in there where it was impacted. The rest of it's straight. I'm going to be doing the, the rear bumper for the BMW uh, M5 too with this. Just needs a little along, a couple places in the back. Got most of it feathered out, but there's a pretty deep, deep spot here. And here, I guess all this happened at once. This wrapped all the way around here, then at this area. So I'm going to go ahead and spray adhesion promoter on this. And I'm going to get some plastic surface filler, the 5887, and put it in these areas. And I'll be back when I've got this filled and, and ready to prime these things.